Sup, y'all. Ewa Brodnika versus Michaela Mea. So they fought on the undercard of Inoue versus Maloney at the bubble in Vegas, USA. Fight went the distance. It went 10 rounds. And we have ourselves a new champion in Michaela Mea. All judges had it in her favor. 188, 188, 89, 99, all 1989, all in favor of Michaela Mayer. And rightfully so, I thought she won pretty much every single round. Maybe one, two rounds that you can give to Ewa Brodnika, I believe that's how you pronounce it. But uh, anyway, Brodnika suffers her first loss in this fight. 19 and 1 now. Uh, first time fighting outside of Poland. And uh, yeah, she was doing a lot of holding this fight. Actually, the referee. Uh, deducted two points if i remember correctly two points um of uh, ewa brodnika for holding um yeah she was intentionally holding whenever mayor was getting to her trying to work in the inside brodnika would just hold and yeah she just wasn't producing any uh punches compared to mayor who really wanted to knock out Looks like Mayer really wanted to knock out uh, Eva Brodnika. At least that's what it looked like. Um, but, you know, they always got tangled up in, whenever they got, uh, when the distance closed. Uh, and that's partly because of Eva Brodnika, uh, you know, holding uh, Michaela Mayer. But in the end, Michaela Mayer was um, more accurate with her punches, was more, she was scoring more, she was the one putting on the pressure she was the one that, she was the aggressor uh she scored more she she did everything better compared to uh Eva Bronica. and now mayor is the wbo super featherweight champion now and after the fight she was like saying where's my belt where's my belt like bob Bar when the bob Byron was in the uh you know in the stands like watching the fight when michaela mayor went up to him and said, Bob, where's my belt? And then during the interviews, like she was like, where's my belt at? And apparently, uh, Ewa Brodnika left the belt in the locker room. So, <laughs> so Mayer wasn't able to hold the belt in the end, which is a shame. You know, I, I, that's one of those things that a fighter looks forward to after winning a title. I mean, eventually, you'll, you'll have to return it to Ewa Brodnika because uh, to the way I think the way it works is that you hold the title, but then you have to return it to the act the former champion, and then the sanctioning body will send you your own belt uh, at the later at the later date. But but yeah, Michaela will will eventually get her own belt, and um, yeah, I'm happy for her. I'm happy for Michaela. Fourteen and zero now. She after the fight, she called out uh, Terry Harper. If you look at the division, super featherweight division, um, Terry Harper is one of the champions in this. Uh, weight division she is the wbc and ibo uh champion and actually she has a fight coming up on the 14th huh 14th over in the uk who's fighting that day actually let me see did i miss an event oh no it's an under the re um katie taylor event i remember now so she'll be fighting that card um so yeah, Terry Harper is definitely someone that uh, Michaela Mayer has their eyes on. And Mayer mentioned about how Eddie Hearn told her to go get a belt first before fighting Terry Harper. Now she has a belt, so let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see Terry Harper versus Michaela Mayer. I think that makes for a very good fight, putting the UK. I'm sure we'll, next year, maybe people, uh, maybe the UK will allow people to watch fights live in person by next year hopefully i mean that's the hope for next year for everywhere right um but uh but yeah the michaela mayor it's definitely someone to keep an eye on she's a very talented boxer and uh and yeah just start paying attention to her if you saw the fight let me know what did you think about it in the comment section below thank you so much for listening and watching don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't yet please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet please unlike always have a great day all right thanks